Hello, welcome back to my 2021 Williams RGG career mode. Here today to start season 3 of the career mode. In the background, you can see the calendar. We're doing 10 race seasons. If you have missed the last episode, we went through pretty much the whole second half of season 2 just to move the series on a little bit then go and check that out I'll link it down below so for the first time we're going to go to Mexico and after not the greatest of races we're dropping Baku to replace it so we've got to, got to do the car launch and no surprise the car's exactly the same as I mentioned a couple of videos ago coming in number 20 but of course, Kevin Magnus is back in Formula 1 now, so we're going to have to go back to 66. So, as I mentioned in the last video, Kimi Raikkonen has retired from Formula 1, just like real life. It just took him an extra season. So, he is being replaced by Christian Lungard, the F2 driver. So, for the first time then, we're going to Imola. And this was, because I recorded this so long ago, this was when it just got added and Portimal as well will be the next episode so I was still learning the track let's get to the grid let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race a fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday puts him on pole Sergio Perez lines up alongside as we continue through the rest of the grid today we have Hamilton, Verstappen, Valtteri Bottas and Norris, Gasly, Ricardo, Sainz, and Yuki Tsunoda, Brown, Russell, Sebastian Vettel, and Ocon, Joe, Stroll, Antonio Giovinazzi, and Mick Schumacher, Lundgaard, and Nikita Mazepin. So we're lining up P11 and P12, made some progress over the winter, but for the third time in a row, it's raining for the race, the whole race again. Um, just to give you some context for this race starts, I recorded Singapore, Belgium, and this all at once, and I was so tired after it. But it's lights out, and away we go for the first time in the season at Imola. Wait, just like it was in real life, but sadly, it's not meant to dry up like that. Races. We're just going to be quite gingerly at the start, obviously we need to find the grip. Side by side, Perez is really piling on the pressure, but he couldn't get past um, side, um, side of Charles Clare. As we're going out into where Lewis Hamilton went straight in the race, and we're going to send it down the inside of Carlos Sainz. I was kind of hoping that George would follow us through, but he didn't. Next up is the Alpha Tauri. As Carlos Sainz actually got damaged from that, so he has come into the pits to get a new front wing. And also, Chief Anazzi somewhere has had a bit of an incident, and he's come into the pits as well. And we are now hunting down, we've got some great pace. As here comes Sergio Perez trying to go right. Round the outside of Charles Leclerc. And he gets the job done. Or does he? Because Charles Leclerc comes back at him. Gets the job done. And Verstappen and Hamilton are going wheel to wheel now. And Hamilton all a little bit of overstare. But stays ahead for now as Max sends, sends it back down the inside. And gets the job done. Just about. But Lewis isn't giving up and Lewis is going to keep it pinned right right around the outside and this was helping us get back into play but Verstappen does get the job done on Lewis Hamilton then. In the background there um, McLaren and his teammates lining them up as well through. They should came and go. I know these have names, but I don't know which one's which. As here comes Perez again. Round two. Round the outside. He goes. 
And is that job done? No. But this time, he's still side by side or no. Leclerc just holds on. <laughs> but Perez this time sends it right around the outside. And Perez has lost it. And Verstappen has hit him. The Red Bulls have collided. Here at Imola, Perez finds himself in the gravel. Verstappen's from wing. He's gone into Narnia and ripped off his car. And that's not the way Red Bull wanted to start the season. Um, they've still got the Turkey livery as you can see here. That's just how long ago I recorded this video. But now... Um, Sergio Perez coming into pressure from... The Alfa Romeo. Then drop down. Here's a replay then. Charles Leclerc left him the space. Perez just seems to have dropped it. Here comes Max Verstappen's point of view. And then just had nowhere to go. And there's the front wing hanging off into the sunset. This is Lewis Hamilton's point of view. And you can see Perez just, lost, just loses it and then goes straight into the side of his teammate. And now, no one can overtake Verstappen, and he's got no from wing, and look at the train as he goes wide. And Hamilton and the McLaren get past him, and I could see this massive train. I didn't know what had happened at the time. So I saw it as an opportunity to get some moves done, and we're on the back of Yuki Tsunoda in his Alpha Tauri. And you can just see the train behind Verstappen here as we sent it down the inside got the job done and also sent it on Daniel Ricciardo as well and on the over Alfa Tauri but fortunately we couldn't get the exit to get past Pierre Gasly and now Ricciardo tried to line us up but he's actually come into pressure from Yuki Tsunoda so he weren't able to do that as Gasly has sent it on factory Bottas then as the two Red Bulls coming from the front wing is Verstappen first for Perez sat in the gravel and now here comes Sergio Perez and he was looking good for Red Bull you know Perez pushing for the lead Max had just overtaken Lewis and now just like that they're both down at the back and it could not have gone any worse for Red Bull so far in this Grand Prix. The return to Imola hasn't done them any favours at all. As here comes Daniel Ricciardo trying to get us right, right round the outside. We shut the door on him. As we were struggling for a bit of pace. As R Ricciardo pitted. And here came Yuki Tsunoda on us, and we defend that into the field of chicane, I think the first one is. And from the outside, he's trying again on us, but couldn't get the job done. And he's trying again because Jeff had actually told us that we were carrying an issue. And then we just didn't really have much pace after that. But we are sat in a very, very nice P6 at the minute. Defending our okay, team. Okay, we have a severe engine issue. Find a safe space to retire or return to the pits. This is serious. We need you to retire as soon as possible. And we're out. And there were some big, big points. Down the train, Lewis Hamilton's won it. For the victory celebrations, a real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today.
Time to see how so it was all looking so good. And we've got no Lewis points to show for it. George Day. P9. So he's got some points anyway. So well done, George. And we've retired from the first Grand Prix of the season. And actually back to back as well. Because we retired from Brazil. So it was nothing engine my It was a gearbox that failed. So that's a five pound grid drop for Portimao. And then, yes. I have to do some serious um, development of durability because that was one of the regulation changes but if it carries on like this then it's going to be a long long season so a bit of an abrupt ending but I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one for the Portuguese Grand Prix goodbye